Hey, it's Jeff. Time to lose more writing points. We're 1806, but RD is still not in the active range yet. Um, so let's start and see what we can do. And even though I've been on a bit of a losing writing streak, um, it's still, the whole point of it is to force myself to think for the 10 minutes, so it's still valuable training even though I haven't been that successful yet. But it'll, it'll turn around eventually. Plus I haven't been super consistent with, well I've been more consistent than I've been with any of my other series on YouTube so far, but um, ideally I do a little bit more than I am. So, okay I wasn't even looking at the position, I'm gonna start, restart this. All right, so the queen is attacked. So that gives us some some hints of the position that we should either move the queen out of the way or do something that hits back harder. We do have, oh, I still got the, that little bar blocking stuff. So our bishop on g7 is attacking the queen on d4. Um, but I guess the obvious move that people consider is taking the queen, but then they take our queen. And at that point, we have three pawns, they have four. It's not likely gonna be that unless there's a good follow-up. Um, which, does rook f2 after that um, checkmate? No, because they have king g3, right? But then you look to see if there's a follow-up after that, which I don't think there there is, but let's see. So bishop takes d4, rook takes d6. I'm looking for other candidate moves other than rook f2, like I'm trying to visualize. So after bishop takes d4, rook takes d6, I'm keeping this position in my mind. And then I'm looking at all of Black's moves as if it was the current position and looking for candidate moves. So I don't see anything else worth looking at other than rook f2. And rook f2 forces king g3 as the only move. So we have a rook on f2, bishop on d4, king on g3. Um. trying to see if there there is anything where like we could take a knight and then get some type of fork but um the king would be on f4 and then they could just take on e5 i was trying to see if there was any way to take advantage of a rook on d6 and the uh, um knight on f4 and putting a bishop on e5 if you do it immediately the king would be able to take the rook on f2 and don't worry if you didn't follow that, I didn't make it super clear where I was in my lines. Um, but, let's see. But I don't think, bishop, the, the whole point at the start, I don't think bishop takes d4, rook takes d6. Rook f2, king g3 leads to anything. I don't think there are any good candidate moves at that point. Um, yeah, so, stop looking at that. Now we could also, we could consider queen takes e6, or may, maybe not, because pawn takes with check. Yeah, pawn takes with check and then their queen gets away. So that I want to say we can eliminate. But I am very confused. So what are the good candidate moves then? The king squares are kind of cut off. They can't go to the second rank. 
Um, okay, and also with the bishop on g7, if we were to move the queen out the way, it would always have the threat of bishop takes d4. So if we could find, maybe there's a quiet move with the queen that uh, can't be stopped. Like I'm looking at queen c7. But I don't know what the follow up would be. Let's see, queen c7, where can, where can their queen go? They could also go rook c6, if I go queen c7. But let's see, if, if queen c7, where can their queen go? They could go, if they go to d3, we have rook c3, winning the queen. Same if they, if they go e3, Um, I see there's knight d3 blocking the skewer, or no, it's a pin, I guess. So queen c7, queen e3, rook c3, knight d3. I'll probably look at something like queen h2 there, and the white's king is in danger, and there might be some win for black. I also know queen c3 is a candid move, but I think after queen takes c3, um, bishop takes c3, rook takes d6, not really doing anything, just losing. I also see stuff like queen a3 trying to move around the other side of the board with the queen, but I feel like that's gotta be too slow. Queen c7 still seems like, well, I don't, I don't know. Oh, we gotta go under 1800 this problem. I've already started forgetting the um, results of my earlier analysis of the other moves I looked at. So queen takes e6, they can't do because pawn takes with check, so that would be bad for us. Bishop takes d4, didn't really work because they escaped to g3 with the king. That would be pretty sad if one of these was an incorrect assessment because at this point I'm fully fully ignoring those those moves now. But I don't see exactly what the good threat is without doing any of those. Cause I might end up at this point if I had to guess right now I would just play Queen C seven. Or queen a3. Queen a3, you do threaten um, taking the b3 pawn. And if we take the b3 pawn now, like, the queen, the king doesn't have a lot of squares to go to. So if we just imagine, if we could magically play queen d6 to capturing b3, they might play... Well, I was thinking if knight d3, then rook c3, well, no. No, knight d3 would just take the queen. But if rook e3 there, with our queen on b3. Hmm. I don't know if there's an extra benefit of having the queen on c7 to reinforce the c-file when the bishop is also looking at c3. 
which makes me think queen a3 might have some added value. But even then, with, like I said, with queen on b3, rook on e3. I don't really see exactly what we're doing. Maybe queen a2 there. And it threatens rook f2, but... It would actually threaten mate, maybe. Like rook f2, king g3, rook g... No, they got a knight. All right, we're running running out of time and it's not looking good. Okay, it's guessing time, unfortunately. And I was feeling confident going into this after losing so many puzzles. It's like at some point, you gotta get served easier puzzles to get your rating up. But, and this one might still be like a 1700 or 1800 level puzzle, but it's still, still confusing me so we're gonna guess pretty soon really want to play bishop takes d4 still although I said I would ignore it bishop takes d4 rook takes d6 rook f2 king g3 what can we do Rick takes f4, king takes f4. It's just losing. Oh wait, 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 wait. Bishop takes d4, rook takes d6. Rook f2, king g3. Bishop e5. The idea being... That's just a lot of trades. I'm not gonna stop looking at that. I hope it's not the answer. But I don't think that line works. All right, queen a3, rook e3. What is the plan there? And for that matter, queen c7, rook e3. I don't, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, they wouldn't go rook e3 because they would lose the queen. So it's got to be one of these queen moves. So it's like the last problem where you're trying to kick the queen out and, and there were just so many moves they could go to. I just didn't look at the line seriously. So there's maybe some difference between queen c7 and queen a3. Uh, queen a3, queen b6. I'm kind of scared of that. After queen takes b3, rook e3. We gotta be careful because we don't really have that many good checks and their queen is in our territory. So maybe queen c7 makes it so after queen b6, we can. I don't know, man. We're playing queen c7. Okay. Bishop takes d4. Ooh, it was this somehow. But it was this. I didn't really. I felt like because rook f2 looked so much like checkmate almost, a move like um, rook c3, it seemed like it didn't lead to any tactics for me. But. Okay, so this was this was the idea I was looking for later. Um, so at this point, I know that this didn't work, and I kind of considered going here. And this is where I was saying we're still pretty much just like like lots of trades. Um, but yeah, so 
So that's pretty neat because here they have to move out the way and they have to move off the third rank and then you just have this and they don't really have checks I guess to I guess you would go here and then you're threatening this and you're threatening that so let's make sure yeah so now another way another way that I learn from these puzzles is sometimes putting your move in and seeing what their best defense is is pretty um, helpful because because if you were to see it immediately why something clearly wasn't gonna work you could just eliminate it and unfortunately I eliminated the other move without seeing the candidate move rook c3 or or seeing that it would lead to an, another idea that I had realized was in the position but okay so queen b4 is one move okay and they're just gonna move out the way yeah there's you're not really winning anything and with queen a3 Well, queen g1 is winning for them for some reason. But queen b6 was the one where I kind of rejected it. And then yeah, you can start to bring this queen over. Actually have this, oh wow. Yeah, so stuff like this, the queen getting into the game like that. I knew black was too slow to do anything. So that's why between queen c7 and queen a3, I decided queen c7, but even that, I wasn't that happy to play. Like, I really felt like I missed a point of the tactic during the puzzle. And I was correct. So I missed this move. Hmm. Alright, we are 1779. Wow. I mean, when I started on Chess Temple a long time ago, I was like 1400. So it's going to be a long climb up, so 1904. Another thing we can do is we can look at the game this came from and see if... So the 2591 that was playing black here, they took... Yeah, so they found it. This was in 2015. Okay. Um, this was my only attempt. The mistakes so queen a3 queen c7 were so actually two bishop e5 was the most common out of all of them and two rook f2 so we'll look at those in a second but but for the first move yeah the two moves i was kind of bent on were by far the most um most common mistakes but people were doing this okay so i understand rook f2 but um, bishop e5, they were going bishop e5 immediately. Which this knight is kind of protected. So it, they saw that idea, but this one was just so much stronger because it forces them off. And then you got this. So. And if we look at like checks, captures, and threats, this was a capture, this was a check. And this was a threat. So it was all just doing a forcing move. So I didn't consider. I should have looked at every single check, basically, in the lines I was calculating. Hmm. I'm pretty sure at this point, when I did, because I didn't even mention it when I saw that this was a move. Um, because when I calculate, I do scan over almost all the legal moves like very quickly and then try to pick out ideas that should be looked at. But I know that when I saw, saw this move, I just I was just comparing it to Rook F2 thinking that Rook F2 looks like almost checkmate. There's probably something there. But... 
but yeah, and another way to look at it is you can create um, undefended pieces like this and then attack both of them. So lots of ways to see this and get it right. And I failed yet again. So we'll try, we'll try again, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. All right, thanks for watching. See ya.